Well, I have this cabinet out here on the porch. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to demonstrate a new product I've been trying out lately, which is Oz Cream Polish. I'd heard about this for a while, but nobody local carries it. And when I was placing an order for some Mohawk lacquer toner recently, I noticed that they also sold the Oz Polish, so I ordered up a bottle of it. I've used it on a couple TV cabinets so far, and the stuff works great. So I thought I'd give it a whirl on the top of this cabinet. Eventually I'll do the whole thing, but as you can see with all this elaborate trim and whatnot, uh, that will be a bit of work. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is clean it, as they recommend. And to do that I'm just going to use some mineral spirits. If it was really filthy, I would use some Gojo pumice-free hand cleaner first, but uh, this is a uh, pretty darn clean as it is, so I'm just going to wipe it down with this. Uh, wipe off the excess good, make sure it's uh, nice and clean and dry. And then apply some of this Oz polish. If you look at the ingredients, what this appears to be uh, is basically uh, castor oil, paraffinic oil, and petroleum distillates and so on. So, paraffinic oil makes me think of paraffin wax, so I think this might be some type of wax suspended with some oil and some solvents. Okay, the top is now clean and dry. I put a bit of the Oz polish on these blue uh, paper towels with a lot of cloth content. You don't need much, and uh, just kind of work it into the surface. It dries pretty quick, and then you buff it out. And I think you can already see how much nicer it looks. It smells pretty good, too. I let the polish dry for a couple minutes and I buffed it with a fresh clean dry cloth and here's the results. Pretty good I think. So far I've tried this on a few cabinets and the longest was about a month ago and it's still holding up to shine really well. So overall I'm very happy with this product. Now as for the rest of the cabinet I'll do a similar application but of course it's going to be pretty tricky with all these emblems and whatnot and as you may have noticed there's a section missing here so that will be interesting to replicate these are probably molded so it's possible that I can get some molding compound press this into it and cast myself a new piece so all is not lost Eventually what I think I'll do, at least on the top and the sides, is again clean the surface down with mineral spirits and then lightly sand it and then spray on a few new coats of lacquer to fill in the alligatoring and uh, there are quite a few fine scratches up here as well. Certainly it doesn't need to be refinished. It's far too good a condition for that, especially down below. I'd definitely not refinish something like this because you'd have a very difficult time, if it's possible at all, to replicate the shading on this. Where it's you know, darker like around here, lighter here, darker in the grooves, darker in here and so on. And I think this looks really nice just the way it is. So, uh, if you can get your hands on this stuff, I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, I'd say just try Googling Oz Cream Polish and see what pops up. 